So Jurassic Park the game is something I've always wanted to talk about and uh, and you know I was just having a sleep there and thinking do you know what I want to give some brief thoughts on it I don't really want to talk about spoilers too much in terms of the actual story and the plot so it's only going to be a quick rundown of some thoughts some random thoughts on the game when Jurassic Park the game first came out in 2011 I kind of feel like I misjudged it I thought it was just a stupid point and click game um, with relatively bad graphics for the time and uh, and I didn't. I saw a couple of clips on YouTube, and I wasn't sold by some of the images I was seeing of people pointing guns at each other and all this sort of stuff. I was like, ah, oh, you know what? I'll I'll save that for another time. And uh, then come, I think it was early 2018. I sat down and actually played the game from start to finish. Um, all of which you can watch on this channel, by the way. I I actually really liked it. I thought it, they'd done a really really good job. Um, it's not perfect, there's some things I would still change, but in the end, uh, I thought there was actually more positives than negatives for me. Oh no. <laughs> Ripped. Oh my god. Come up the stairs. Trip again, because you're not an option. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> um. The negatives are quite easy to just brush over. Um, I thought, you know, they tried so hard to connect it to the to the films that um, obviously later films like Jurassic World and that uh, have kind of retconned it from the uh, canonicity. And uh, so I thought that if they hadn't gone that route, if they had set it on sort of like Isla Sauna or somewhere different and kind of tweaked some of the story aspects to make it sort of. Uh, canon, but then you don't. It doesn't affect anything else uh, or the, any of the other films or anything like that. They could have uh, you sort of written their way around that problem. Um, a good example of this is like the T Rex in the game bursts through the visitor center's d doors and completely smashes them to to bits. Um, but then in Jurassic World, obviously, we see that the doors are, are, have been rebuilt. And not only that, like um, they changed uh, Jerry Harding. The main character in the game is a, a, a veterinarian at Jurassic Park called Jerry Harding. And this is a character that we've actually seen before uh, in the first film. He's the gentleman with the moustache who's fixing the six triceratops, or at least trying to fix it. But in the game, he's a young fellow with no moustache, and he, <laughs> and uh, they even have a line of dialogue where he says, "I've got to go look at this uh, sick triceratops," and he goes off and comes back. So if we were to connect it to the films, uh, we would have to say that he he either stuck on a fake moustache, got really old somehow. I don't know; it just doesn't work. But um, they changed the design of him. I don't really know why. Was it to fit him in of having a daughter or something? But I don't know, that doesn't really make sense to me. Um, they should have just kept him the way he was if they wanted to use that character. But anyway, there's little things like that. Um, there's these mercenary characters who I think start the game off really um, cheesily. It's almost like a Saturday morning cartoon. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, it suits the style of the game and I actually praise it for that. It's, it is kind of like watching a Saturday morning cartoon. But these uh, in-gen mercenary characters have come along and uh, and they're cracking jokes right at the beginning and then obviously when the table turns and the dinosaurs uh, are attacking and stuff and some of the co uh, some of their comrades die uh, they get really serious um, the character Billy Yoda uh, is someone who I didn't like at all when I was playing it at the start but then when uh, the sort of the turning point happened um, he turned really serious and then I really liked his character let's just give him some space five minutes just just give me five minutes and I'll be fine. I know what you people yeah. think of us. Bunch of blue collar grunts, right? Bunch of high school dropouts. We're replaceable. We don't think that. We don't. Um, and yeah, it was just a lot of his quips at the beginning I didn't like. And also I don't like the fact that they named him Billy Yoda. Um, I just think that's a pretty crap name, <laughs> if I'm honest. Um, you know, you call someone Yoda, even though it's spelt differently, uh, everyone's just going to think of that little green uh, green guy from, the, from those um, uh, space battle films, whatever they're called. Uh, 
the one of the raptors gets like a scar down its eye, so you can tell that that raptor is the uh, is is that particular one through the game, and it becomes almost like a character in in itself. And that I I didn't really mind the idea of because that's happened in films like Alien vs Predator. The one of the aliens gets a and predator net over its head, and it melts its head a little bit, and then through the rest of the film, you can see that grid along its head. Um, I believe some people call it the grid alien. Um, but yeah, I don't mind that idea, but I think the, the raptor getting the scar perfectly down the eye uh, was something that was a bit like a bit too hammy, and we've, we've seen that a million times. I mean, scars on eyes are everywhere in pop culture, and it would have just been nice to have mixed things up and have it, you know, uh, you know some something else happen to it. Um, I also remember that happening with uh, Tremors. There's one of the uh, Graboids uh, gets its uh, tongue ripped off and then they, they call it Stumpy through the rest of the film. But um, yeah, anyway, Tremors is something I'll talk about another day. Um, but yeah, Jurassic Park the game is, there's I don't know, there's not really much else I can say I don't really like. Run! Oh, come on. But things I did like in the game, I mean, the T-Rex design is fantastic, and I think a lot of people uh, all agree that they did a really stellar job with the T-Rex, and pretty much a lot of the dinosaurs. Uh, the Triceratopses look really great. Um, the Raptors, I think they might look a little bit blocky, but then then again, they, you know, their characters and stuff, they, they do some things that are pretty unique. And the Trudons, which is something I didn't really want to miss out talking about in this video. The Trudons are a new dinosaur that they introduced to the game, and uh, they're introduced very early on in the story. Um, and they're, they're uh, the new dinosaur for this uh, particular Jurassic story, and they have these kind of really big white eyes, and they hunt in, in complete darkness, and I think they're designed really well, and they're something that I wouldn't mind seeing transfer to the films if they uh, ever introduce that sort of animal to the big screen um, that's what I think they should uh, definitely do at some point because uh, they're, they're terrifying looking they almost remind me of the uh, the fish uh, sort of submarines from Stingray Jerry Anderson Stingray they remind me of those uh, a lot and obviously uh, what they're modeled on is like angler fish and and uh, and deep uh, deep water animals that live uh, under the ocean so I think they have that kind of gormless look to them that's really scary um, as for the uh, the other characters, um, you know what I like. I, I think a lot of people don't like Jess, um, but I kind of did like her. I think <laughs> I was laughing because she's like she spends most of the game trying to bum a smoke off uh, one of the scientists. Hey, can I bum one of those? <laughs> and uh, and it's just one of those things that I think that really does suit a kind of Jurassic Park kid character, and uh, and I didn't find her to be too uh, disagreeable. Um, I thought she she uh, helped out quite a bit in the story and uh, and you know did her part. And uh, yeah, I, I didn't mind her in the end. There's the scientist character, Doctor Sorkin, who uh, who's almost like uh, another Doctor Wu on the island, and she's been. She's on a different area of the island to what we see in the film, and she's studying animal behaviours, um, and she's uh, very much a an animal, you know, all for animal rights, and uh, she makes for an interesting part of the game. And uh, you know, there's some things happen uh, later on with her which I I really did enjoy. Um, you know, if if you know what I mean when I say uh, deep blue sea, then you might know what I mean. I really do like that sequence. Um, Oh yeah, because obviously they have the Mosasaur, um, the um, what's it called, Tylosaurus in this game. That's another animal they introduced, and I, I really enjoyed that as well. Um, I think it's a great design, and it's not as big as the Mosasaur seen in Jurassic World, but I like that. Um, but anyway, so going back to Doctor Sorkin, uh, she's kind of like the woo of this story, and and I really liked her. I will say that. Um, you know, introducing her character was also a bit odd because if you're saying that this is canon with the movies, no one in Jurassic Park, the first film, mentions Dr. Sorkin. Obviously, she wasn't written as a character in that film. So they kind of have to write around her being on that island. Try, try. 
The set pieces were things that I really enjoyed with this game as well. Um, I did like the the Bone Crusher roller coaster sequence. I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, Hammond has a line in the first film where he says, you know, other rides and systems will come online six or twelve months after the parks opened. And uh, obviously they use that line to uh, build this whole backstory of other attractions that you see in this game that you didn't see in the film. There's a uh, an underwater area, uh, a roller coaster. I think there's a, a sort of other areas of the park that you see. Um, but it was cool to see those things. Um, the Bone Crusher was definitely a highlight for me because it was just uh, <laughs> great fun seeing these uh, dinosaurs, uh, you know, Hererosaurus, is that how you pronounce it? It's, they're kind of like raptors, they're jumping all over the ride and attacking the characters and um, yeah, it was, a, it was a really interesting part of the game. Just a little nitpick I wanted to mention here. Um, so the Bone Crusher ride, if I remember correctly, and the forklift trucks um, uh, are coloured after the same, they're coloured using the same sort of pattern as the tour vehicles. And I kind of feel like if you were designing a park, uh, you, would, you wouldn't just use one pattern for all your different rides, especially forklifts. Forklifts would just be, you know, run of the mill construction vehicles. They wouldn't need some really over the top crazy uh, design. So oh, I, I did laugh at that when I was doing the live stream. Oh my, even the forklifts are coloured the same as the tour vehicles, come on. But yeah, no, overall I, I really did enjoy the game after all. Um, I would love to talk about more about the story, but if, if you want to hear my thoughts on that, you can you can go back and watch uh, my playthrough um, where I sort of talk about it more there. Um, I just wanted this to be a, a, a brief, uh, you know, rundown of, uh, of my thoughts uh, after all this time. It just, you know, I've just had a sleep and I've woken up and I've gone, do you know what, Jurassic Park the game, I want to talk about that. But yeah, no, uh, overall I'd say check it out uh, um, if you're a Jurassic Park fan. Uh, it, it's definitely interesting. It's uh, it, it's not, I wouldn't consider it canon. There are loads of fans out there who do, um, which which is uh, great. You can write around it. You could say, you know, oh, the visitor center got destroyed, but maybe they tried to rebuild it for Jurassic World, but then they just gave up and abandoned it. You can, you can write your own head canon around it, I guess. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, this short little, uh, you know, rundown of thoughts about Jurassic Park the game. Um, if you have any thoughts about the game, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you very soon, I guess. Um, Fallen Kingdom is soon, right? Did I watch that trailer? Do you know what? I can't remember. Hmm.